Hi guys, it's Sammy here. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to finance your studies through part-time jobs and also share all the details on how I got to land a part-time job as a student vlogger. So let's get started. I believe early in September 2020, I saw an ad on school website um, looking for student vloggers for the new academic year 2020 to 2021. When I saw the ad, I applied right away. And then about two weeks later, I got the response that I got the position. And it was actually not until the induction that I found out that this was a paid position. So for those of you who are interested in um, working as a student vlogger, here is a quick rundown. First, I filled out the application form. Second, and I was given a task to create a short one to two minute video, either introducing my hometown or introducing myself. If you already know how to utilize some of the video content editing software, great. You know, show your skills that you can film, edit a video, and also and demonstrate how you can provide a creative edge to kind of content that is engaging but also informative. So yeah, that was basically it. So my satisfaction level with the part-time job I actually can't be any happier about my job because first of all, I'm a very creative person. I've been in the media industry for a very, very long time. So this is what I've been doing on a daily basis. And it also brings me much joy to be able to help out with other students who might struggle with some of the problems that I have already struggled with. So being able to be that help source is a great um, joy for me. And another great thing about working as a student vlogger for me was that I wasn't working for set hours. As student vloggers, we are advised to create two to three videos each term, but you can create as many as you like, as little as you like. Um, you can adjust your work schedule according to your academic um, priorities. For example, during the Easter break where I had to write four summative essays, that was such a crunch time that I put my, all my focus and concentration on just working on my summatives, not worrying about part-time job. So that was a big plus and especially considering pandemic, um, a lot of jobs can be done online which gives you lots of flexibility and extendability. So I think if you can get online jobs and utilizing those aspects, that will be very useful especially you want to prioritize your academic work not your part-time job. So generally the school doesn't advise international students to work any more than 15 hours per week even though tier 4 visa, student visa, usually allows you to work up to 20 hours per week. The reason why I emphasize this is because as a full-time student, you will spend 35 to 40 hours per week full-time on your studies. It's a full-time job as a student. And when you add part-time work, um, 15 to 20 hours per week on top of that, it can be overwhelming. You basically do reading, research, academic writing, 35 to 40 hours per week. And I mean, you can work um, up to 20 hours per week and still um, manage your schoolwork. I mean, if you can do it, it's fantastic, great. But personally, I don't think I could have done it. And you also want to make sure that you have time to rest, wind down from all the academic work socialize and get to know the people get to know the city experience what the city offers so i mean that's the whole purpose of coming to london so i want you guys to think about all these different aspects um, when you apply for part-time jobs where to find part-time jobs so my best advice is lse career hub so once you matriculate in the beginning of the semester, you will get access to LSE Career Hubs, which is careerslse.ac.uk. Now this is a place where you will get to see many internally and uh, externally circulating jobs, including full-time, part-time, postgraduate funding, scholarships, graduate employment, as well as internship. So come to LSE Career Hub regularly to check out what's out there, what opportunities are available out there, you log in with your institution credentials, basically your email address and your password that you set up. Some of the main online services that you can use here are you can run your CV through career set to get quick feedback. You can also find various activities. Um, you can book an individual appointment with a career services counselor 
practice interviews, get resources on employers in different industries, online tools are available. Personally, I found practice interviews very useful and helpful. And if you click on jobs and opportunities here, you can find all the jobs, internships, part-time, full-time jobs uh, that are posted by the LSE. You can put in keywords to narrow down your search, particularly with part-time jobs. Um, LSE Career Hub, I think, is one of the best ways to do job hunting. Another way is to utilize your connections from home. Now, when you freshly arrive in London, you know, it takes time to get used to the city, to the environment, to the school. I mean, the school work is all new. It's, it is overwhelming and it takes time to get used to all of this. And it is quite natural to feel overwhelmed. So if you're in need of um, having that extra financial income, then I think utilizing your home connections is a great way to do that. For example, I have a couple of projects that I do with um, companies and publishers back in my home country in South Korea, where having this kind of connection is a great way to expand, to diversify your experiences in general. So please don't underestimate what you have already. You may find a lot of great resources um, with the things and connections that you already have and you will also see opportunities coming from departmental emails i'm not sure about other departments but i know my department media and communications regularly sends out a monthly newsletter and sometimes there are research opportunities for students um, part-time jobs internship opportunities so always just be mindful and uh, be alert what kinds of opportunities are out there and just be be on the lookout for that okay i hope you found this video helpful i wish you all the best and i'll see you guys in the next video